Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a why we bed share video. Um, I felt like this is something I really wanted to talk about. I'm passionate about it. I feel like it has made sleep as a new mom just so much easier. I don't feel um, exhausted <laughs> because I'm sleeping really well, even with a almost seven month old baby. Um, so I want to get into the main points of why we bed share and share those with you. So I have um, four or five main points that I want to hit. Um, so the first one uh, is early postpartum or the, the first, we'll call it the first 40 days, but honestly just the first night even after having him. Um, it just was so instinctual to just have my baby close to me. I just couldn't imagine even putting him in a bassinet to the side of the bed. It just didn't feel right. Um, it felt so natural to have him on my chest and um, just to be able to have him close to me, to feed him easily, to know that he was breathing and not wake up panicked like, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, everything about having him close to me just made sense. It was so instinctual that I couldn't imagine doing it any other way. And it also made us get so much more sleep because I wasn't having to get up to feed him. He was already there. He would just wake up and just, you know, rustle around a little bit and I would just put him back on the boob and we'd go back to sleep. And I didn't have to like sit up, turn a light on, feed him, put him back in his crib or bassinet. It was just so convenient. Um, and I really give that credit, credit, I'll give that credit for just being able to get so much sleep. Um, I'm not saying that there's not, I don't have tired days or that I wasn't still exhausted maybe in other ways, you know, in those early postpartum days, but I was sleeping really well. Um, so yeah, the next point I want to cover is our nursing relationship. Bed sharing like almost ensures that you're going to have a successful nursing relationship. There are other components to that, you know, how was your birth, was it traumatic, was it physiological, so obviously that hugely matters. But also, if you're separating yourself from your baby at night, that's going to hinder your nursing relationship. Um, it's just, it's very possible that it will. I'm not saying it will for sure. I know babies who sleep in their cribs and still have successful nursing relationships, but bed sharing helps to establish that connection, the constant skin to skin, baby so close to your boob. Um, you know, it just, it, I really accredit that to our amazing nursing relationship. I feel like us two are very in sync with each other. He's always by my side. He's in bed next to me and it just made it easy. I didn't, like I said, especially early postpartum when, I mean, I was very sore. To have to even just sit like on my butt in bed hurt. So being able to have him there laying next or him, you know, on my side lying next to me or on my chest. Because in the beginning he just slept on my chest, which was so much easier. Um, plus I enjoyed laying on my back because, you know, at the end of pregnancy I wasn't really doing that. So it felt nice just to have him right there. Um, and then eventually once we got more used to things, once nursing was, you know, once I just had it down, then I started sidelining, and that's what we do now at this age. We're almost, he's almost seven months. We do sidelining, and it's so nice because I can just make like a C-shape around with my body, nurse him, and when he falls asleep, I'll like roll over and get in whatever comfortable position I want. So it's, it's so nice. It's so nice. Um, the next one I want to talk about is, well, I kind of already touched on this, but yeah, just better sleep. Um, not having to get up because even if you're waking kind of frequently, if your baby's feeding through the night, it's so easy to just wake, get them settled and fall back asleep together. So with that, we'll transition into the next one since I kind of touched on that. The next one is when you bed share with your baby, your sleep cycles sync up. They, um, 
they do, they sync up. So when you're in a deep sleep cycle, when you're in REM sleep, so is your baby. Now, maybe not in the very beginning because their circadian rhythms are not well established, but once you hit about three to four months, um, you're gonna get longer stretches and your sleep cycles sync up, which I completely noticed this, honestly, pretty early on, but especially at the three to four month mark, and definitely now. Like, if I'm on my phone in bed, because sometimes I'll feed him, fall asleep, like get on my phone or something, I'll notice he's not, like, he's more likely to wake if I make a sudden noise or something. But when we're in a deep sleep, and obviously it's like I'm sleeping, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. But my point is, he's obviously asleep, or he would wake me up, and I'm very in tune to him. So, um, yeah, we it, it just our sleep cycles. Your sleep cycle will sync up with your baby, which is amazing. It makes sense. That's nature, and um, yeah. So your not getting constant constant disruption in your sleep. Um, and so that helps you both get long hours. And I honestly get at least my eight hours almost every night, unless I, for some reason, choose to stay up late. Like if I put the baby in bed and I roll away and come out and hang out, you know, with my husband or with my mom, because I'm with her right now, then um, you know, I'll get less sleep, but it's not because of him. Um, I, if I'm go to bed when he does, I'll get eight hours. Um, the other thing I want to mention is, um, bed sharing. There's a lot of misinformation. People thinking it's not safe, that you should put your baby in a separate, you know, area. And that's just a bunch of crap. Now, I'm not saying it's bad if you want to do that. That's not what I'm saying. But saying that bed sharing is not safe is complete baloney. Women have done this since the beginning of time. Every other mammal sleeps with their baby and somehow they don't crush them and kill them. Like, it's just, it's instinct. You, you know that they're right next to you. You're not going to roll over on them. That doesn't even make sense. Um, biology doesn't even allow that to happen. It, it would never happen. Um, unless you were like really drunk or had a few too many glasses of wine and aren't easily, you know, awakened. But when you're of sound mind or not on medication or anything, it's just so instinctual um, and it's nothing to worry about. It's also protective against SIDS because when your baby, when you are bed sharing, your baby will probably wake a little bit more frequently um, to nurse, but like I said, it's not really disrupting your sleep because you aren't getting up. Mothers who wake more frequently but are bed sharing still get better quality sleep than mothers who have to leave the room and get their baby. Okay, back to what I was saying about the SIDS. Um, so your baby will probably wake a little bit more frequently when you bed share. But this also is a safety net. It prevents your baby from getting into too deep of a sleep where they might stop breathing. So lots of important info to know here. And just know that a lot of the information out there is wrong and people might think, well, then why, why, why do they say that it's bad? Why do they say it's unsafe to sleep with your baby? Well, number one, follow the money. No one makes money off of you sleeping with your baby, right? There's no crib to sell, there's no mattress to sell, there's no swaddle, there's no nothing. And I'm not shaming any of these things if you do them. Like, at some point, we will transition him to his own room. Like, I will at some point. I don't know when, I'm not ready to now, but at some point I absolutely will. So don't think that's where I'm coming from, but just, I just want you guys to think why why is it being sold as a dangerous thing? It's not. It's so normal. It's instinctual. It's amazing for your bonding, your breastfeeding relationship, better quality sleep. 
not having to get up and leave the room, like I wouldn't change it at all. So when I am ready to transition him to his room, I will be sad. Um, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, cause we're happy with how things are going, but I just wanted to put that in there. Like do your research and know that bed sharing is often labeled as unsafe either out of ignorance, lack of education, or money, 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 right? We just, we know that no one makes money off of mothers who, he's staring at the light. No one makes money off of mothers who sleep with their children, who don't feel the need to use all these extra products and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, but those are the main points I wanted to share about bed sharing. I know I rambled a little bit and went on a couple tangents, but I just get too excited and too passionate and I have so much to say. <laughs> I don't want to write down all these notes. So I just kind of skim through my notes and whatever comes out, comes out. So I try not to edit these sit down videos too much because I just want to keep it real. And if I stumble on my words, then it is what it is. But I feel like you guys, Hopefully we'll get the gist of why we bed share, why it works for us, and why you know you guys should try it with your babies um, because I think it's it's really great and it's it's worked great for us. So, all right, let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. Comment down below any questions you have about bed sharing um, or anything you thought was interesting, anything you might have learned. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see from now on. I'm going to, like I said, really try my best to do one video a week. This is either going to go up today or tomorrow. Um, so you'll be seeing it soon. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun making it. I had fun with my little buddy here. Uh, like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to really get this thing going and just sharing my experiences with motherhood so far. Uh, yeah, so like and subscribe, and I will see you guys back on my channel next week. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye.